Welcome to Youth Vibe. This week, our youth spotlight shines on Arnold Henry. He's breaking into his dreams of becoming a pro basketball player and hanging on to it all with the launch of his first autobiography. This segment of The Vibe is brought to you by Burger King. Now, many times before in my Youth Vibe segments, I've featured young persons who have excelled in dance, academics, some sporting activity, and you know, groups who come together to, to make a difference. But never before have I featured a young person who has written their own book and a self-proclaimed autobiography, should I see. And right now I'm sitting here with Arnold Henry, who has done just that. And Arnold, let me first of all tell you, welcome to The Vibe. Thanks for having me here. Wonderful, Arnold. Now, let's get into it. Tell me some more about this autobiography. Well, Hanging On To My Dreams is basically about the first 23 years of my life mm -hmm. growing up in St. Lucia, facing different um, types of you know struggles. Um, and then my transition from St. Lucia to America mm -hmm. and my college basketball career. Wonderful. And how were you able to, you know, sit down and put all of this together and have the outcome of a book? Well, many people haven't realized that I've kept diaries from since I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And writing those diaries was sort of like expressing my feelings without anyone being judgmental. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. you know that best friend you have and you tell all your deepest secrets knowing that they won't exactly. tell anyone. Yeah, so that's exactly um, what I did from um, earlier years of my life. And, you know, later down the road, I realized that I have you know, like I look back on those diary en entries and reminisce on my entire life and realize that I have an inspiring story to mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. something someone can relate to. Because you know, everyone has dreams, but you know, having that strength to hang on to that dream is more important. And I'll portray that in my book. Wonderful. Now, I know, I mean, most young persons try to, you know, tell people about their lives through song, you know, who's rapping or just writing lyrics or probably through dance if you see but you decided to do it in the form of a book why a book well um because you know with a book you have more leeway as to you know writing more mm -hmm. writing less mm -hmm. with a song you just only have like what four minutes mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. express your your feelings but i have lived 23 years and i've you know spilled out all my feelings within that first 23 years of my life so i wanted to write a book because you know I have more of advantage to, you know, to write pages upon pages, chapters oh, upon chapters. Yeah, so... Great. And how many chapters? I have 48 chapters in there. The book is um, divided into four quarters, mm -hmm. just like a basketball game. Yeah, so nice. I wanted to go with, with that format because, you know, my dream is to become a professional basketball mm -hmm. player someday. Mm -hmm. And you're moving and working towards that dream, right? Yes, exactly. Um, I have, like... Uh, someone who read my book, he's mm -hmm. a franchise basketball owner in Canada and he picked up my book and read it and then he sent me a message letting mm -hmm. me know that I was invited to a basketball tryout this August in Toronto. Yeah, so I'll have an opportunity to fulfill my dreams and you know, when I return back to Canada, it's you know, 24 hours in the gym. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm just working towards the dream now. All right, this excerpt is coming from chapter 16. It's called The Phone Call. From, I'm going to read from chap, I mean page 81. Um, one of my favorite quotes is that success comes when preparation meets opportunity. And I was you know, living in St. Lucia at South Lewis Community College, attending there. And I was play, also playing basketball for them. And being there, I never knew how I was going to get a basketball scholarship, but I knew that um, whenever the opportunity presented itself that I would be prepared. Saturday evening, I arrived at my basketball game two hours early. Yogi was already there with his wife watching an earlier game in progress. I sat next to him, sticking words of inspiration. The tone in his voice was very welcome, welcoming, which made it easy for me to talk to him. He spoke briefly about his transition and adjustment from the St. Lucian culture to the United States Customs. He also spoke about his basketball experiences. That day, the most important advice I picked up from him was what basketball gave him. A free education, a job as a professional athlete, and most importantly, a wife and a life he, has, he, he was thankful for. After Yogi and I talked, I became highly motivated to perform beyond my usual standards during the game. I was determined to leave everything I had on the court, my blood, sweat, and tears. I had at least 30 points, 
10 plus rebounds and 5 plus blocks along with 6 slam dunks that night. After we won the matchup, I was desperate to hear Yogi's remarks. I approached him in the bleachers where he remained seated with his wife. Good game, Yogi said with a grin. I sighed and then smiled with relief after hearing these words. Yogi wasted no time. Write down your number and email address and I will contact my old co college coach when I get back to the US. You should expect a phone call or an email from Coach Bruce Kreitzer within a week, he said. Well, Alan, I think a lot of persons watching now feel inspired to just go forth with their dreams, hang on to it like you said and make it happen and that's exactly what you're doing for yourself. So, I mean, I think that is wonderful and kudos to you for doing that. You're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you very much. More copies of Arnold's autobiography are scheduled to hit the market soon, so look out for it. Keep it locked, we'll be right back after the break. This segment of The Five is brought to you by Burger King.